The rising population in Kenya in the last few decades has seen the country's available arable land under a lot of pressure. With continued land divisions, this important natural resource is quickly diminishing, threatening the country's food security. But now there seems to be hope as one investor in Siaya County decided to reclaim land from the Yala Swamp and is now able to grow rice, soya bean and sugar cane and also rear some fish on a large scale. On this week's episode of The Next Frontier, Phil Kitani takes us to Dominion Firm to showcase what it takes to reclaim land. Standing on top of this hill and casting your eyes across these thousands of acres of rolling rice fields, it may appear as though the beauty of these fields may have been this way since its creation. But when you hit the ground to explore more about this farm and its history, you will be shocked to learn that none of what you see here existed 10 years ago. All what you see was once a swamp, but where others saw Westland, others saw opportunity. Welcome to Dominion Farms in Siaya County. Well, we came out here in 2003 looking for land which was probably less competitive and uh, by that time people thought swamps and dry lands were less competitive when it comes to land conflicts. According to residents here, Yala was never a swamp to begin with. It was a barren land but decade of massive pollution caused by human settlement upstream saw the water slowly stagnate and the swamp gradually grew bigger, displacing both animals and people. Dominion Farm started by stopping the flow of water to the swamp by building a 12-kilometer dike that ran from the dam down to Lake Namboyo and relocating the flow of the river from the farm and splitting it into two parts. One part draining its water into Lake Kanyaboli, the only Oxbow Lake in Africa, and the other into Lake Namboyo, stopping more water from flowing into the swamp. So the main project first was to clean the, the, the main canal from the Yala Swamp. And though heavily mechanized, with farm employing the services of the only floating earth mover in Africa. The excavator is mounted on it so that it can go in the water and cut ditches that drain the water um, downways and then the land starts to dry. Land reclamation is not cheap. Dominion farms have so far spent close to 50 million dollars over the last seven years. Probably spend. 50% uh, of that money in building up structures with the reclamation. It's the most expensive aspect because you have your excavators out there the whole time, 24 hours they are working. After several batches of crop research, Dominion Farm settled on paddy rice, which produces two harvests per annum, a state-of-the-art processing plant with the ability of processing 10,000 tons of rice a day was installed and the first batch hit the shelves in 2007. A lot of people say we have tried so many crops, but you have to try many crops to find out which is most convenient. That's how we have arrived at rice. After close to eight years of hard work and determination, this farm has been able to reclaim more than 1,000 acres from the Yala Swamp that is currently under sugarcane. A clear indication that where there is a will, there is a way. Philip Keitang for the next frontier. <laughs> 